There are more intake manifolds on the market today than you can shake a stick at. There are ones for single, double, and even triple carburetors, and there's also a bunch for fuel injection, like stack injection, multipoint, or even throttle body, plus different types of manifolds from dual plane, single plane, and even tunnel rams. The purpose of manifold talk today is for a specific engine we recently dynoed. We saw significant gains between a dual plane and a single plane version. Now there are several reasons why we see changes in airflow characteristics, RPM ranges, fuel delivery, and of course, power. A dual plane separates the manifold into two different plenum sections. Each one along with its separate set of runners to connect every other cylinder in the firing order. This allows a dual plane to see induction pulses every 180 degrees of crankshaft rotation. That allows them to do a better job balancing the air and fuel mixture from cylinder to cylinder throughout the RPM range. Although these manifolds are great at fuel distribution, they are quite restrictive in a high performance application due to their small cross-sectional area in the plenum. They are designed for good drivability and low to mid RPM ranges, but that doesn't mean that they won't make power. We have had several of these that will make over 500 horsepower. A single plane intake manifold has a single open plenum that sees all eight cylinders. A larger cross-sectional area and a deeper plenum allow these manifolds to flow a lot more air than a dual plane. They are designed for more mid to high RPM applications. If hood clearance is not an issue, a tunnel ram is a great choice for performance in a wide RPM range. Now it's still a single plane design, but its advantage is a straight runner with a clear eye shot from the carburetor all the way down to the intake valve. Depending on the runner length and plenum volume, they can be designed to make power virtually anywhere in the RPM range, as low as 4,000 and as high as 10,000 RPM. The difference in dual plane and single plane power was displayed in excellent fashion with our old gray mare 408 inch stroker. We ran both a dual plane and single plane manifold and here are the results. Now that you've seen that, you know the advantages of a single plane manifold. The same goes for a tunnel ram. If you have a daily driver that's pretty mild, the dual plane is the way to go. But if you've got a car that you take to the strip and drive on the street, definitely lean towards a single plane.